Hi, this is Mike from the After Gear Exchange. We're looking at Telemark bindings that are best suited for downhill skiing and ski touring. They all work with a 75 millimeter duck bill boot, classic Telemark boot like a Scarpa T1 or a Scarpa T2. These boots both have enough power to drive any of these bindings and most skis that are on the market nowadays from 80 underfoot all the way up to 115, 125, even 130. Um, these three bindings on the left are all predominantly focused on downhill skiing. They don't have specific tour modes. The four on the right all allow you to tour on a free pivot. Uh, much less effort goes into your touring. Every step uphill, you're not fighting the bellows. On a big VT boot like the T1, it's a lot of effort. You expend every step of the way going uphill. So when we get to talking about touring, these are the bindings you're going to want to look at for sure. Uh, the first binding is the Enzo R from G3. It's uh, a relatively new binding from them. Again, focused just on downhill lift service skiing. Um, there's four positions to control the amount of uh, heel retention and activity of the binding. And uh, they're controlled through a pin and that determines where the cables link in and it's connected to some underfoot springs that go right under your boot and uh, give you really good uh, heel activity for aggressive skiing uh, if you want, but you can also uh, slacken it off by moving the cable back and then adjusting the springs in. Um, this binding can be pressed into service for touring, although I wouldn't recommend it compared to some of the others. Um, and it does have a heel lifter on the back. G3 has also made the Targa for many, many years. This binding is the most neutral binding in the uh, selection we have here, and its uh, default position with the cable in at rest is in its neutral 45 degree position. Uh, before free pivot tour touring bindings came out, this was a uh, fine binding to tour with. You'll still exert more energy, but this tour throw heel right here has a additional black piece. If you put that into the heel of your boot, uh, it'll be the same as loosening the springs up and you can press into service for touring. Again, not as user friendly as the other bindings. This binding is very neutral. This is great for a knee to the ski, telemark skier, someone who likes uh, three pin feel or um, is really on their game with technique, likes being low on the ski and staying balanced. And the last of the downhill focus models is the Vice Telemark binding by 22 Designs. This also has three different levels of activity controlled by a pin that routes the cables underfoot to a similar set of cartridge springs underfoot um, and uh, no uh, touring post or anything. This is downhill only. Uh, we'll talk about the axle for touring. This is the downhill focus binding. If you got a pair of skis that's got a bunch of metal in it, super heavy, uh, you want to use for your lift service days, this is a great hard charging binding. Um, very popular and uh, been quite durable. We've seen very few issues with it on the warranty front. Now these next four bindings are all great bindings to put on a set of skis that you're going to use at a resort but you might want to tour with and also perfect if you do want to tour. If you're thinking about getting into the backcountry but don't have all the equipment, don't have skis, uh, sorry, don't have sk skins for your skis, you can still get these and get the skins down the line and then be all set to go touring um, for the first time and uh, are all good options. Uh, they all ski downhill incredibly well um, but have a uh, tour mode where you flip a lever, push a lever or flip a switch and the entire binding comes up and rotates on a pivot in the front by the front of your toe making it much easier to go uphill saving energy so you can have more fun on the way down. Likewise, you use your pole and lock it back in place. The switchback binding is the least active of these four. It's been on the market for about a decade, uh, and it uses compression springs coming from this rotating point on the side of the binding, and has two different sets of heel lifters, a shorter one for uh, going uphill on a more gradual slope, and then a taller one to save your calves when it gets really steep. These come standard. The Switchback X2 is the next step up from Volet. 
Uh, it's a newer binding from them. It was designed to work with wider skis, um, bigger boots, and the demands modern Telemark skiers are putting on their gear by skiing harder, faster, going off bigger jumps. The metal on the toe plate's been beefed up. It locks your foot in better. It's also moved the pivot point back 26 millimeters, making it more active. And to complement all that, the springs are um, beefier and take more effort to compress, giving you a much more active binding overall. Uh, other than that, it's got the same ski and tour mechanism as the regular switchback, so it's just a matter of if you want the increased um, activity of the binding and the more durable toe piece. The Black Diamond 01 um, is one of the oldest free, touring, free pivoting bindings for touring. It's got a very durable stainless steel toe piece like the rest of them. It's a very thick gauge. You use your pole to switch from ski to tour with this lever in the front and it undoes this hook in the back. Um, has a heel piece with uh, touring wires and also, like all the bindings, uh, other than the Targa, routes the compression springs underfoot. And lastly, we have the 22 Designs Axle. This is the uh, touring version of the vise and actually came out before the vise. The vise was in response to just needing a binding to ski downhill. This binding has been in the market longer and allows you to free pivot, ski uphill, have three modes to adjust the activity um, and cartridges underfoot like most of the bindings here. Uh, very durable, very um, popular binding. Um, it's uh, super active and works great on all skis, but especially wider skis with more aggressive skiers. That's a wrap on the Telemark bindings, and I'm Mike from the Outdoor Gear Exchange.